I am so close to being able to get advanced exogeology. In other words, better ways of getting unobtainium. But, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Not in science! I'd need 13,000 more. So, go to the workshop. I need photolithography, like a thousand years ago. Like, I keep looking at it and going, why haven't I bought this yet? Uh, but I always need oil, and I never have oil lately <laughs> since I got it. Before, I was always full up on oil, but now it's like I'm constantly wanting to use it for, well, space. I want another one of these. But I need my unobtainium in the workshop because reasons. I don't have to state my reasons. I just I just need them, okay? So, do I want... Actually, this solves my science problem here. Let's take this now. Oh, but there's an AI. No, this! Okay, what is my new max science? It's good enough. I've got it now! Okay, awesome, excellent. Advanced exogeology. Would that give me anything? Probably shows up in the workshop. Well, let's check space first. No, probably all in the workshop then. What is new? Eludium hats. There's one with the oh, wait a sec. I'll bet. Aha! Eludium! 25,000 alloy and a thousand unobtainium each? Oh, man. Uh, okay, well, that's, uh, huh. This, this is not unobtainium. This is my unobtainium. And there's a bunch of things I have here that demand this stuff, too. Micro wrap reactors. Based reactor from the lunar outpost is unobtainium production is 75% more effective. I need this. Planet Busters. His Meowra's output is twice as effective. I need those. What terrors has this AI done to me? <laughs> I feel like I've fallen way behind. I feel like I've fallen way behind somehow. I'm not entirely sure how it happened. <laughs> uh, wow. Everything comes back to unobtainium at this point. All advancements somehow plug into unobtainium except for this. I'm out of alloy, so I cannot get the solar satellites right now. Not that I especially need it. Oh, if you're wondering where all my power went, why my production's so crappy, I turned all my calcitors and mag magnetos off. I need, I need oil. I literally shut everything down just to get oil. No, it's not efficient. It's probably not even smart. I really should keep pouring everything what do you mean? I mean look at this look at how ridiculously powerful these are these these are some OP solar farms and these the hydro plants are as good as my reactors with a fraction of the resources going into them well maybe that's because I've got 11 of these already but seriously no blueprints um just I mean it's mostly is the no blueprints. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. But yeah, even with everything shut down, oil production is slow. What is a space paragon, and how is it giving me a 95% bonus? 
I don't remember hiring a space paragon. I don't get it. I don't understand. Oh well, I don't need to understand. It's enough that it is. It's enough that tomorrow, when I have my oil in, assuming I don't put the kerosene too high, uh, I will have enough for a moon base. I've already got so much. Well, I have 200 left. Hmm. But yeah, star charts. Star charts are the huge limiting factor. This. This is what I need. Hiss meow meowra. I'm not pronouncing that right. Hiss meow meow. That that's closer to how it's pronounced. I don't I don't really speak kitten, so you know. This would boost the speed at which I gain star charts. Thirteen hours. Let's boost it. But it's not enough. No, no, I should just wait. When I get the planet cracker, I'll have the uranium to run the lunar base all the time instead of having to shut it down. Right now if I ran it I would be out of uranium inside of a little over half an hour. Also I'd run out of... I, I can't make that much unobtainium anyway. I suppose I should run it. I really should. Production is as high as it gets. So I will get about uh, more than half half full before I run out of uranium. Ah well. Let's go ahead and grab this. But I have so much stuff. I was about to grab my moon base, but then I see that I'm less than an hour away from my planet cracker. And suddenly I'm reluctant to spend tar star charts here. Instead, I feel the sudden urge to gather lots and lots of alloy. Hmm. I think I can do that. I think I can manage just a little more alloy in an hour. Hmm. All this wood and not a whole lot to do with it. Uh, catnip field. Uh, aqueduct. I went back to aqueducts. I was very distressed by having to have 50 farmers. <laughs> Those dams, they weren't worth that much. Is that... Let me see. Ah. What else do I want to do? I need alloy. I suppose I could build yet another reactor core. We never have too many of these. Or do I want a factory? I do want I do like factories. Just one kerosene is enough to keep you in oil. Really. Or I mean to, to keep to use your oil. Uh it's it's pretty good. I've got a lot of kerosene now. Um, Nothing that eats alloy. So that's you. Okay. Alright. Well, just do that again. And now I just need to find some use for gold and oh science, that's easy. Here you go. Here you go. Do that. Gold, though, is actually becoming hard to spend. I can't believe I just said that. I look at how many trading posts I have. I could barely... If I want to wait, I could get one more. I suppose I could build temples, but the manuscript price has gotten astronomical. I could build more mints, which would just mean more gold storage. <laughs> Since I don't actually use those. Um, 
Yeah, we can go ahead and, and make one more. We can never have too many reactors. I am so frustratingly close on max science. Okay, now that I just spent a whole bunch of stuff uh, making blueprints, actually my max science <laughs> took a dive. <laughs> I may have to may have to build some of these back. But anyway, um, I was so close to the thorium. I need to find relics and time crystals. But yeah, uh, just out of reach. Just out of reach. So, do I wish to blow my unobtainium on this stuff? Or should I spend it on space stuff? Nothing that eats a star chart. As much as I want a space station and a moon base. Let's go ahead. See, what I really, 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 really need is astrophysicists. <sighs> Which, that again, comes back to the moon base. But, anyway. What we're going to do, we're going to solve one problem with another problem. Or, let me rephrase that. We're going to kill two birds with one stone. There. So, our first bird, we can, we can slow that down, um, yeah, I'm going to need more coal because I'm going to want more alloy. Our first bird was a need for titanium. Where's my astronaut profession, huh? Somebody who gets a discount on space stuff? That'd be good. Titanium, if we need to get rid of gold and gather titanium, oh. And I'm doing it wrong, because I actually should be doing it like this. Anyway, we use the titanium to build a space elevator. Use all space structures' effectiveness by 1%. That should result in more star charts, uh, more unobtainium, I guess, spice, and oil. Oh, I have enough titanium to do a second one. Save for this. Now I can do one more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of more gold. Ben, you said I needed the science. Well, that is easily enough done. Then I'm probably gonna spend a whole bunch of time just trading. Uh, probably scaffolding to coal with my guys producing wood. They'll probably be most efficient. Hmm. I need more ivory. But I think I did the math and found that the citadels were currently my best bet. My best option. So, we'll go ahead and go. Oh, man. Curses. I need more ivory. All that time wasting ivory, just throwing it away, and now I need it. I'm probably going to find I need spice desperately. It's a good thing nobody wanted to take that off my hands. Wump. And there we go. Okay. Discounts. Discounts and boosts. Oh, I just want to click these. All right. <laughs> Only 50 kerosene. <laughs> okay, so, um... That's that for now. I feel really dumb. I feel really, really dumb. Thorium's not out of reach. I'm just doing it wrong again. There it is. Scientist discount. Okay. I still don't know what the AI did. Thorium does what? Any new little, little upgrades? No. No upgrade dealy bobs. So... Aha! A new rocket engine to go faster. Oh, okay, well, space travel and that. Oh, 10,000 ships? 
Why would this cost 10,000 ships? 40,000 gears. It's apparently a clockwork drive, I see. Okay. Thorium reactors. That requires a lot of thorium. Thorium consumption, yeesh. Hmm. Why'd I bother? Why'd I want this so bad? What am I going to use it for? Can't even make a lithium. Where's... Just, just refine... Just 250 uranium into one thorium, huh? Huh. I see. Everything costs entirely too much of that. Nope. 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 <laughs> okay, that was a stupid science. Never mind then. Never mind then. Unleash the Necro Kittens! <laughs> oh no, what terrible thing have I done to the world? All for power. My greed shall doom us all. I can now run the unobtainium generator on the moon. Those lazy guys in Avatar having to go pester blue cat people. Look at this. All you had to do was crack a planet. Is that so hard? Just, uh, just don't form a religion around, uh, any strange things that you find when you're splitting planets open, you'll be good. <laughs> All right, then. Mm, I'm just so glad this took forever. I mean, look, it'll take a day to get another one. Not that I, you know, then I, if I had a second one, I could build a second moon. No, no. Moon base is time. Man, I need more star charts. You're so slow. I would have thought this an obscenely fast speed back when I had to click for them all the time. Hmm. Okay. So, like I was doing with kerosene, I think I'm going to start doing to uranium with thorium. Just leaving one worker producing thorium to uh, prevent myself from maxing out on uranium and having it sit. Okay, I have options. I, much as I really want the Piscine mission and I really want to send off more missions, my star charts are precious. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna buy one more space elevator. I'm gonna grab a moon base. Now I have Pretty well doubled my unobtainium limits. Um, you know, eh, minerals and iron and wood and titanium and oil and all are nice, especially oil, since I apparently need lots of it now. But uh, this was really for the unobtainium boost, which I can now turn that back on. Um, I wish I could build another lunar outpost, but I need another planet cracker, and that gets us back to star charts are valuable. Very, very valuable. I'm going to throw down a space station, even though I don't think it's really worth, worth it, honestly. I think my star charts and everything is so precious right now for things like this, or more moon bases, or just... All kinds of different reasons but I want to have a space station I want to have one of everything <sighs> yes I'm kind of obsessed with having one of everything I know I wish I could have I wish I didn't have to choose buildings that I could have them all but I guess that is not possible let me let me dump some of that into another broadcast tower. Someone pointed out to me, I did not know this, alicorns and unicorn tears give me happiness just for having them. Um, 
I, that doesn't show up here. I, mean, I guess it falls under rare resources, but it, 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 I never had guessed that. Those broadcast towers mitigate 301 out of 302% of the unhappiness. That's all it takes. It's the solution, guys. That's the solution to, to crowding problems. Just, just broadcast towers. That's it. That's all you need. Alright. I'm going to go ahead shut those off. We'll spend some science on blueprints. We can never have enough blueprints. Really, we can never have enough of them. I should produce more steel. I mean, I got a, it looks like I have a lot of steel, but I should produce more. I always need more. Oh, right, libraries. I can make I can make more library, at least one more. Hmm. What should I spend the blueprints upon? Should I get another factory? Reactors are always good. 5% production boost. Uh, not involved in the accelerators. Though I think I can build at least one more. Oil wells. I do need oil, but uh, planet crackers are better for that. Really, what I need to do is more than anything is star charts. I think I might just build as many observatories as possible. For the blueprints. Um, let's throw down. God, these are expensive. Let's throw down a couple. Uh, a couple of these. So that was a fortune. But I'm sure it'll it'll pay off in the long term. Yeah. Things have slowed down immensely. And I think I'm solving my problems right now with uh, pretty, pretty handily solving the problems I've got with um, unobtainium and uranium. Like, there's still a sticking point. You can see there's a sticking point. I'm going to make some more thorium. I don't have a use for it yet, but we might as well start saving it up because I'll probably need a hundred times more than I've got. Am I on a tra I'm still on a trading bonus. Fine. Let's do that then. I should have had it on a crafter. I wasn't thinking. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and put it back on an artisan. Why doesn't a chemist do anything yet? Ah, I've brought that up more than once, but it bothers me. Why is there a class that doesn't do anything? It's troubling. Here, yeah, promote me kittens. Yeah. For the longest time, that was a bottomless hole of gold. Anytime I wanted, I could dump all my gold into that, and the gold would just all disappear for me. Okay. And uh, just for a second. Yeah, it's kind of running slowly now. Because. Space Station. And that'll be one of everything. And next time, I'll be able to do something star chart heavy because star charts are the real limiting factor star charts are uh, let me look at this 16 hours i need more of these so i'm going to be building up all of these different things a lot but uh we're going to do we're going to be doing the piscine and helios missions i'll dump what i can in space elevators um because they seem like a good thing and they don't require <laughs> they don't require star charts or anything that's uh, you know I mean they require unobtainium but that's not very hard for me to gather anymore if I get a second planet cracker and lunar outpost I'll be rolling in the stuff of course uh, there's a lot of things in my workshop that want unobtainium so yeah, all this does is a 50% science boost. That's production bonus, not maximum, right? Yeah, 
50% science boost, and two astronauts. But I'm willing to bet my astronauts will be... Who will you guys be? My astronauts will somehow be collecting coal on the surface of my planet. I don't know how they'll do this, but that's what they'll do for now. Because I need st I need coal. Look at the iron I'm producing. Ugh. A hundred thousand thorium. Ten thousand ships. Forty thousand gears. Makes me ill just looking at it. Hmm. And illudium I can't even produce. Most of this stuff is just out for me right now. I can't even get almost any of it. But 350 unobtainium will start. There's a bunch of them that that will make possible. Like this hut one. Or are these drills? Yeah. I'm going to have to do a whole bunch. So... Time crystals and relics. I have no idea how to get those. They must be out here somewhere. Maybe the relics on the world whose atmosphere is composed entirely of farts. Why do we want to go to an acid planet full of fart air? <laughs> then again, we're cracking planets, so I guess there's nothing we won't do, huh? Time for the most important upgrade, possibly ever. Astrophysicists. Now, how many star charts do you got? Oh, maybe it's not so important after all. Uh, uh, that's not so hot. It's not so hot. If I go, rat fights. Womp. Oh yeah, that's what you do. Uh, okay, no, actually, it's pretty good. <clears throat> no, actually, it is pretty good. So this is probably where all my villagers are going to be working from now on, from now till a while from now. Um, boop, boop, crap. Yeah. Yeah, because star charts are everything they're my oil production which i need to bring up they're my uranium production they're my unobtainium production and storage space star charts are all hmm. satellites produce star charts i could toss a couple of these up there okay I could do these. More more people to throw into science. What I want to do is this, though. I'll wait because I want the Piscean mission. In the meantime, even more resources. <sighs> Gotta get a catnip field in there. Say, oh, oh, right, and I'm going to be spending a while. Oh. I was gathering ivory and spending it on my worthless unicorns. My undeserving unicorns. What makes you think you're worth all these staircases? What makes you think you're worth all this ivory? Urgh. I might build, <clears throat> I might build one more ivory citadel. I think, by the numbers, that was the current best. Maybe not anymore. No, now it's ivory towers. Actually, I might just stop building all of these and just save for the utopia. But it better be good. It better actually do something. Ah. Uh, I appreciate whatever happiness bonus, seeing the tears of unicorns and 
you know, all their suffering has brought my people, but I want something more. So they use more. To mine gold? Anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this science I'll be producing. A lot of the time, I think they'll just be stuck, just stuck. Because everything in science requires relics and time crystals. And somewhere out here are relics and time crystals. I'm hoping it's on Piscine, because Helios... Well, Helios is a bit further out. Eh. <laughs> All right, now I just have to find ways to spend these. It is time at last for the Piscine mission. T minus mission. Terminus is a supermassive ice giant at the far end of the Helio system. Ice giant, huh? Not like a little dwarf planet like Pluto. All right. Hmm. Looks like Piscine is eh, about as far as Mars is from Earth, judging by the uh, ETA. Hmm. What can we do while we wait? I have oil. I have some unobtainium. I've got lots of science. Fortunately, I'm out of star charts, which kind of precludes just about everything. In fact, it's probably going to make this very difficult down here, because for some reason, when I arrive on the planet, building more stuff on the planet requires star charts. Seriously, we're already on the moon. We're not sending more things to the moon because, you know, we did the mission, right? Maybe we are. I don't know. Either way, why do we need more star charts? Don't we know where the moon is by now? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So... I've got a lot of blueprints again. I can do that. I need an astronaut as a leader. I need that to be an option. Uh, I think I need to just wait. I need to just sit and wait until the uh, Piscean mission is ready. There are things I could do, but but I think I don't want to spend my precious resources, particularly my unobtainium. I'm probably going to find I can't build anything on this planet because I don't have the resources. We'll know as soon. Piscean is open. Open for business. <clears throat> I can do research vessels or orbital arrays. I saw something mentioned orbital arrays a while ago. What was it? Was it you? Hmm, something mentioned orbital arrays somewhere. Hmm. Anyway, let's see. Space production bonus 2% uses 20... 20 energy? I mean, I have a lot of energy to throw around, but 2% doesn't seem valuable. Also, it uses 100 alludium. That's like the one thing I can't make. Like, seriously, I'm incapable of making. I need 1,000 unobtainium and 2,500 alloy apiece. Yeah. That's, um... It might be as far as I can get in space for a while. I'm actually contemplating making another lunar outpost and then getting an, you know, getting another planet cracker in. Uh, star chart production. Oh, I think yes. Anything that gives me star charts. Anything, anything that gives me star charts. Um, max science. That's good, too. That's actually important. I need that upped. I need lots of this. And I need more satellites. And I need... Well, I can, I, I, oh, I can build another observatory. Yeah, these things are way too expensive. 
So I'm thinking, um, hmm. I need moon bases. I need 180 a piece. I need one, two, three. Oh hell, I need a half dozen moon bases. <laughs> and they cost so many star charts a piece. I need a half dozen lunar outposts and planet crackers. And the star chart costs. The star chart costs. So. I am going to focus on research vessels and satellites for now. And then space elevators. If they boost space production, that will boost the rate at which I get star charts out of these things, right? Yeah. Is this it for Piscine? Research vessels in orbital range. Where's my relics? Where's my time crystals? What am I going to do with... Uh, why Why can't I put orbital rays around my own planet? Or around Dune? Aren't I going to do anything in the acid fart planet? I guess not. Hmm. Oh, this is actually... It's easier to get to uh, Terminus than it is to uh, Helios. Maybe I'll shoot something out there. I mean, I have the kerosene. I have the kerosene. But the star charts... I'm going to stick to research vessels for now. Anything to up the star charts. That's the game plan for now. All of these upgrades, they're all demanding lots of unobtainium. I'll start picking these off one by one. Maybe. Or maybe I will just stick to, uh, maybe I'll just stick to space elevators. Anything to help that. Because none of these, uh, none of the ones I can get without alludium and thorium anyway. Lots and lots of thorium. I made a little bit, but holy crap. None of these are really things that I need. I'm not even using hydro plants. Um, I guess there was one, this one, but it wants my star charts, so I'm not going to do it. Ah, oh, that's where it mentioned orbital rays, but this one, the reason I can't get this one is because it requires more than twice my titanium limits. So, I'm locked out of that. And basically, anything I could want, I'm incapable of building. And anything I can build, I don't really see the point of making. I mean, I guess a drill is nice. I mean, you know, I guess unobtainium huts are nice. I'll probably go ahead and pick these up, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep everyone on scholars. I won't have any way to use the uh, use the science really. But if it gives me, uh, I mean, I guess I could do more hunting and make more blueprints to suck up, sop up all this science. Hmm. Hmm. Basically, it slowed way down, and I don't have any good. Please give me an unobtainium sieve I can trade with. Let me trade with the Navi. Come on. Uh, even the religions kind of hit a wall. Um, I mean, I can still get some of these, but... Uh, uh, mm, I don't know. Space elevators. Let's go space elevators for all my unobtainium. We'll just pour it all. Each elevator takes more unobtainium than the last. Whatever. Uh, we'll do it. Satellites and research vessels. When I get the star trot production up, 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 then we will start really uh, being able to really crack. I've already cracked Dune. Why do I need another planet cracker on it? Ah, well. <clears throat> Introducing Planet Cracker 2, followed by Lunar Outpost 2, and when I get the oil, a second moon base. 
which will increase my unobtainium uh, by quite a lot. Is that really all the unobtainium I can get with two of these things? I guess so. Mm. Slow. But anyway, I'm going to get some moon bases, get this number up, because we can build stuff. Oh, I need to, uh, whoops. Hold on, what do I get you guys on right now? Wood? Right, I need scaffolding for some reason. I think to trade for more coal. No, I need scholars! Oh, I spent so many star charts. I could spend more. I was thinking seriously about this mission. Um, seriously thinking about it. It's only 20 minutes away. It's probably not going to be anything I can afford. I'm probably better off spending my star charts on research vessels for more star charts. Uh, but the temptation to explore, you know. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to give in to my temptations. <sighs> anyway, I want to make more space elevators, but I think I want this drill the most. This, Simon, is a drill that will pierce the heavens. Okay. Now. There's a lot of things. I get that one more lunar base in my unobtainium level, which is moving faster now. I can potentially get a lot of these things. Though, not all of them. There'll still be quite a few things locked out of my reach. But by upping the storage capacity, and getting more huts is always nice, but upping the storage capacity should make it easier for me to reach some of these things, like the titanium one here. Uh, I wonder what kind of bonus. Just says, provide bonus. No hints as to what the bonus is. It could be a bonus to my alicorns, for all I know. So Speaking of my alicorns, I can kill them. I can banish them to the red blood moon. I mean, I could literally banish them to space. I could literally put them on the moon. But no, by that we mean throwing them down our ziggurats to get a time crystal. It says receive a. I don't know what it does yet. So we're going to look over here at time and see if anything new appears. And we're going to watch our happiness just in case. Okay. Something. Here we go. Whap! Didn't do anything there. There's the time crystal in green. So is it radioactive? Is it more radioactive than uranium? Nothing new appeared here. Okay. Okay, so... Didn't think so. Ah, uh, nothing in the time tab, really? Alright, what do you do? What, what are you doing for me? Does it let me travel through time to explore civilizations? Oh, what's this? Anachronox? Hold on, we gotta go learn our achievements. So, Sins of a Solar Empire. What, seriously? Please stop. Anachronism mixed with chrono, I, I guess. I don't know. It's not. If this is a hint for something, I'm not quite putting it together. Hmm. I know that there's this. Presumably, this is something amazing. But look at how long it took me to gather 25 of these. Um. It's going to take a long, long, long time to, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll go for this next. This says that that gives me an alicorn descent chance of 15%. Or, no, I'm sorry, just 15. It doesn't take percent. This is alicorn descent chance, 15. I don't know what that means exactly, but whatever. It also point, says it might give me 0, 0.000 alicorns per second, which I'm sure is useful too, somehow. 
I don't know how you get a 5% bonus on one crystal. It would be like 1.05. Maybe I should have waited. I was expecting the crystal to do something, though. I mean, come on. The crystal's got to do something, right? Uh, no new professions, no new things. It really should be in the time tab. Al, I am kerfuzzled. I, I am completely baffled. So, I'll just be happy with my increased uh, unobtainium output and the fact that if I really want uranium, I can do this and gather it super quickly. I've been amassing thorium. I don't have any less else to put it. I've also been amassing blueprints. That's more of a byproduct of um, my ivory hunts for to you know to fuel my religion here. Uh, I've hunted so much ivory. Uh, hmm. This is this is frustrating me. I have a time crystal. I want to use it for something. I want to plug it in something. <laughs> I just have this resource sitting here. <sighs> probably when I get chrono physics, I'll probably have a use for them. <sighs> yeah, oh, sorry. What I really want is I want to be able to fill temporal flux up is what I want. Or just double time my game. Because, you know, some of the stuff takes a while. Anyway, we're gonna do we're gonna do the T minus mission of uh, soon as I can do it. There's no way I can speed it up. I need more star charts. <sighs> I really want another planet cracker, and I could have one right now. Or I could do that other moon base I had been planning on. Also tempting. Actually, just another lunar outpost would be good, because I could turn the third one on, eat up the uranium, and then turn it back off later. By the way, I'm over 10k uranium now, somehow. I built enough reactors. And then we got the, the Terminus mission I was planning on, but I could also do the Helios mission, because I um, have enough star charts for that now. Ah, and I want to do all of them at once. I'm going to take Helios. Yarn. Yarn is a class M planet with a high moderate climate, seas, and oxygen. It's a, it's a class M planet. We can live there. Um, It only requires 7,500 star charts. My gosh, we're probably leaving... We're probably leaving our solar system to another solar system. Oh man, 12,000 kerosene. Whoa, wait a second. I thought I was way ahead of the curve on kerosene, but I didn't guess not. The kerosene got to soak all the yarn in it. It'll, it'll be glorious. T three years. It takes three years to get to the sun, does it? Okay. All right. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Hmm. I can still get this in 50 seconds. Right. And I will take my unobtainium reflectors for the rest of my star charts instead. Because I'm insane. I don't know. Maybe I won't. But I could. It's tempting. But I must not. Moon base. Need moon base. Critically important. Okay, look. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to go over here. I still have gold. I still have no end of gold. And, well, nothing to spend it on. Remote, remote, remote. Okay. Look at that. Look at all that left over. All that time where it was like... My Achilles heel was constantly running out of gold, and now, now I'm just like, eh. <laughs> a 
Okay. Do we have it? We have it. Unobtainium max increase. Yay, 500. And that opens up a whole new world of options. Okay, not a whole new world of options. This will be a whole new world of options. Actually, a whole new star of options. But still, is pretty nice. I can store 4,000 oil up there. That is actually, well, not a huge amount, I guess. Titanium. I guess it's really just the unobtainium. Everything else, it's like, ah, oh, that's nice. But, but really, you know what? Screw it. Put the wood, the catnip, the minerals. I don't need extra storage space. Let's just make it 500 unobtainium, and I'll be happy. You can, you can take the rest of the resources. And I'm a... I'm out of time. Next time on Kitten Game. The Sun. Uh, we might have to shave our kittens. It's awful hot over there. Till next time and every time, this is Adrix signing off. Bye.